We have a, a 900 acre farm here, uh, established in 1917 by a Panama Canal engineer uh, from Norway. Uh, he came up here and uh, basically I would say he built almost the perfect coffee farm. Uh, the structure is such that we have uh, 650 acres of forest, uh, 250 acres in coffee and agriculture. Uh, we run it today, uh, bringing together all of the elements uh, that the land has given us, uh, our ecosystem, which is a very important ecosystem, uh, our coffee, uh, which is one of the top coffees in the world, uh, and the fact that Boquete is bringing in a lot of tourism. And three years ago, we came up with a scheme of, of, of putting uh, tourism into uh, the mix that we have. Uh, we built an 11-room uh, lodge uh, at the fringe of our forest and of our uh, coffee plantation. Uh, the reason we have 11 rooms is because our forest is a very fragile forest, and we made load studies. Uh, and these load studies ask us not to put more than 20 people inside the forest. So everything's built to respect that. We have over 250 species of birds here. Uh, most of our clientele uh, are bird watchers uh, or nature lovers. The coffees of the, the, uh, of the area here are amongst the top coffees uh, in the world, and we're, we're counted in as, as part of that uh, group. Uh, you have to realize that the, the quality is something uh, that is perceived by each person in a different way. Uh, we have, the beauty of Boquete is that we have uh, many, many microclimates uh, in here, so that, that means that every coffee farm has a different uh, coffee profile. Uh, and, and each profile, it, you know, just tells a story of each farm. Uh, so, you know, it's not, uh, in my way, it's not correct to say that one coffee is better than the other. Uh, I, think, I think the fact is that uh, the coffees of Boquete are all excellent coffees and, and are of, the top, of, of top quality. We take care of our coffee uh, in a way that is friendly uh, to the ecosystem that we have. And, and, and I think if you look around, that is very uh, evident. We have a wonderful microclimate up here, which is uh, excellent for producing coffee, uh, such that we need not uh, put insecticides or fungicides or uh, uh, anything that's poisonous on, on our coffee. So, you know, everything just comes together. This is the perfect place for producing coffee, uh, without a doubt. If people are, are willing to support what we have here, uh, the, the best way to support it is, is to support uh, the purchase of our coffee at, at prices uh, that, that help us sustain uh, what we have. You know?